Hey everyone, hey. welcome back to the channel. Yes. So on this video, we are making tamales. Yes. But we are making them with banana leaves instead of the corn husk because that's my own preference. I feel like they come out a little bit more moist with oh, banana leaf. Definitely more moist. I grew up with my grandma making them with corn husk and they're real dry. Like they get, tend to get really, really dry inside the corn husk. How dry? Kind of like your. <laughs> <laughs> But now let's get started. James already has uh, some water boiling to make the green salsa. Um, I already boiled the banana leaves and rinsed them. Yep. Uh, they're right here. We pre-cut them already. These also have like a ridge. We cut the ridge, that way we could tie it at the end. So we're gonna make green sauce chicken tamales with banana leaves. Yes. And these ones are a bit of a heftier take on because the corn husk, one thing about them is that they're way easier to use. I don't care. I like going through the struggle so I could get the <laughs> banana leaf tamales. That's In order to get preference. that soft result, yes. All right, let's get this going. All right, so for the salsa, it's really simple. It's, it's just a few ingredients. It's an onion, peppers, ooh, garlic, and tomatillos. And I already took the skin off of these ones and washed them because when you peel the skin off, it has a tendency to stank. Did you say cilantro? Yeah, cilantro as well, but I don't use that right now. We use uh, serrano peppers. Yeah. I don't know why you have three. I could do with two. I don't want them that spicy. Okay, then we'll take that one out. <laughs> and onion, of course. Now, all this needs to get boiled except for the cilantro. You don't have to boil that. That gets added in later. And I just have one here so you see how it looks. It looks like, you know, well, almost look like a Brussels sprout. If you don't know what a tomatillo looks like by now, you haven't hit the kitchen as much as we have. And that's saying something. Right? Now with these, I just kind of just slice them up because they're gonna get blended together anyway. Just take the tops off. I like to leave the seeds in because that's what makes it spicy. Now I'm gonna go add this to the pot because that water is already boiling. And basically what you do with that is you boil it until the tomatillos change color. They're gonna turn like a really deeper kind of pea green and like a little darker and grosser. You see, I don't make the sauces, that's all James. It's gonna look unappetizing, but that's how you know it's cooked. So you can like blend it together. All right, so we're just gonna come back once we're ready to blend it together. Or we'll blend it, a speed. We'll, we'll do something, we'll be back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, we are back. James, what we gotta do next? Okay, so I leave a little bit of water in the bottom of it from, you know, how it boiled and I throw it all in the blender. Then, this is where the cilantro comes in. You take that cilantro and throw that in there. Ba-dow. And then, I don't really use a measurement, I just kind of like wing it. You use a little bit of chicken bouillon. Tiniest bit just to add flavor. Not too much, otherwise it's gonna taste salty as hell. And there you go, we blend it. And we're gonna make this into a nice sauce. All right, that looks chopped up. That is the green salsa. If you want it to stay fresh longer, you can cook it on a pot and then store it. Or you could just do this and let it stand while we make the tamales now. You may be wondering, oh my God, are you guys gonna make your masa from scratch? No, nope. <laughs> no. This is just here for decoration. It fully is. <laughs> we pre-bought ours. We went to a uh, Mexican market here and it was already there. I'm like, well, make our life easier then because we're on the go. We're on the go divas. Yeah, if you can't make your own tamale masa, store-bought is fine. Where should I put this? Oh, um, should probably leave it here. I'll rinse it off so that we can build on top of a cutting board. Now, I don't know how much we need. It's only us two, and I feel like last time we made time, we made way too many tamales. I know, it's just gonna be us eating tamales for the next couple of days. Oh, uh, should I put the whole Which thing in there? Mind. Or just a few? I have to take a handful out. This is fun because you get to use your hands for it. That's why I wear a shirt I don't care about. Did I wash my hands? Yeah, you did. I did. <laughs> I heard you do it. So that's probably all we're gonna use. It's already pre-made. Just gonna knead that dough. We have Puff here waiting for me to drop anything. Okay, so let's start making the tamales. How big do we want these tamales too? That's the thing. That's also the question. Like how big do we want it and how much stuffing do we want to put in it? Okay, so let's just put this on here. Let's put, smear it on. Ooh, just like sliding it up. Mm -hmm. well, it's gonna be a tiny little tamale. What would do with the stuffing in it and everything? I think it's gonna be good. So you can have the chicken already mixed with the salsa or you cannot. That's like we're doing it. We're just grabbing the chicken, putting it on here. Mm -hmm and then putting the salsa on top. That's what Simply Mama Cooks did, and that's what I'm gonna do. Also, I'm gonna link her video down in the description as well. That's where we learned this recipe. Because honestly, my mom didn't teach me how to cook, so <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe because I was never home, but here we go. Oh, that's a lot of chicken. What yeah, am I doing? I was looking at it. Like, yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> we're we still good. gotta be able to fold This it. one's gonna be stuffy. All right, so take a little salsa. And it's sat a little bit, and now it's a little thicker. The longer you let it sit, the thicker it gets. Oh, that's gonna look good. Oh my God. Here, let me move that. Do you want any more or should you? That should be good. Okay. How do we fold this again? I forgot. Should we watch the video? We probably should. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. We watched the video for a refresher. Where the way she did it is she folded this in half. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Boom. Go like that. 
And she said it may split. Don't let that discourage you. And like James said, James basically said that he does this when he wraps his wigs. Yeah, like for on when you buy wigs from my website, I do like a burrito wrap and tissue paper to protect it. And it looks pretty. Boom, this is the tiny one. <laughs> pre we pre-cut these off camera. Yeah, because they're a pain in the butt to cut, but like cut and they stink. We're also hungry. Yeah. We're hungry, guys. We're trying to eat, because this is also our dinner. <laughs> yeah, so I'm using that rib that I was telling you that we cut off earlier and just tying it. And here you go, you got a nice little tamale wrap. All right, gift. put her on Dolly. That's one. That's one, oh my God, let's do it again. Should I grab a bigger piece this time? I mean, go for it. The other one turned out really small. I know, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna do it like this. Let's see, we could always take away from it if we need to. Yeah. Boom, put it under flat, and chicken up in here. That's enough, right? Yeah, All right. that's good. Put the salsa on there. Salsa this bad boy. I know, the salsa tastes really good. It's spicy though. Two peppers was more than enough. You wanted to add three, I was like, oh no, I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> I remember when I made the salsa for our friend's party and everyone was like, it's good, it's just so spicy because I used three and I didn't take the seeds out because I, I like the spiciness of it. James was always like, I like the spice. I'm like, uh-uh, I already know what three tastes like, okay? <laughs> I feel like they had to find out that night. Oh, too much sauce on this one, but oh well. Look at us cooking for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Tie this up. I'll grab Dolly and she's right behind you. Boom, another one. Look how cute it looks. Another oh one. Oh my God. Ugh. See, that one's much bigger. Yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> that's what we were going for on the first take. We're gonna keep making these. I'm gonna do some iPhone footage when we put them in the pot. The pot already has two quarts of water underneath and then we have the divider on top so we put the tamales. We'll be back after the iPhone footage, okay? Yep, we're back. All right, so we managed to make 10 tamales out of the masa that we have. Um, so James is gonna put a banana leaf over it and then we're just gonna let them cook for an hour and 30 minutes. So we'll be right back. All right, we are okay. back. So the tamales are done. So what we basically did is we put them in the pot. Um, we had it on high heat first, right? Until we heard the water boiling. Yeah. Once it started boiling, we turned it to medium and then let it cook for an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, hour and 30. Oh, this is hot. Yeah, and like the hour 30 was more for like, if you're making them 20 or so, we only made 10. Oh, puff, puff. Seriously? How's it look? Ah, it looks like a tamale. Boing, 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 boing. Yes. Yeah. That dough. Are this how she looks? Yes. yes. And James made this uh, white rice. We made this, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I love the banana leaf tamales because they just come out a little more moist than the corn husk ones. I'm not waiting because it's hot. <laughs> it's good. Do you wanna try it? I'll try it, let me see. Before we do our final thoughts. Oh yeah, the dough looks great. I'm really happy, yes. All right, I'm gonna try a good piece with the sauce and chicken and everything. And the salsa is so good when it's cooked in like that. Let's eat this again. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep eating all the dough, no fucking chicken. <laughs> oh my god, be those ladies at um, Christmas where they judge the chicken. It's all dough and no chicken. Where's all the stuffing? <laughs> and like, look, did you buy the chicken? So that's it. We successfully made yes. tamales. And usually people say tamales are hard. I think they're time consuming. Yeah, that's more time consuming than it is hard because everything else is pretty well. We didn't make the dough though. So no, we didn't make the dough. <laughs> <laughs> we should talk clock on that. Clock on that. We don't, like we're always gonna take the pre-made masa, but we're gonna um how hard is it to make masa? I never actually made some. It's not hard, but this one requires a bit more like balancing with the consistency because sometimes you can overdo it and you over make dough. Thanks for coming on this learning journey with us. You already know we're learning how to cook. And here we go. We expanded it even more. Yes. Well, I'm excited to eat because yeah. I'm waiting forever to eat now. I know. <laughs> that, that's the only thing. It takes a long time. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay trifling. And until next time, deuces. deuces.